What's up guys? Okay, so we are going right into the workout of the week. Um, as you saw by the title, this is a lower body workout using majority of the time the Smith machine. Um, there's a lot of varying opinions of the Smith machine. It seems like guys aren't a huge fan of the Smith machine. I personally love it. And like every exercise, guys, there's benefits to every single one. Some of them involve a lot of accessory muscle work. Some of them isolate a certain muscle group, isolate a certain muscle in that muscle group. And it just depends on what you guys want to do. If you want a different, a different scenery, if you want to challenge your muscles differently, push and pull against gravity in a different way, it's, it's, there's so many options. Um, and that's what I love about the Smith machine. It gives me a lot of options staying in that same place. All right, so let's go right into this first superset, guys. Superset one, we're starting with sissy squats on the Smith machine. Notice that I have that really nice, comfy looking green mat underneath my knees. This is to help a keep my back of the knees comfortable while I'm squatting down onto the um, bar. However, it also provides a little bit more friction so that like I don't start sliding and slipping on that bar itself. Um, so from that first, set of the sissy squats. I want you to go right into the Bulgarian split squat. Uh, you're going to hold on to that same 25 pound plate. If you guys just need to use body weight, that's absolutely fine. If you guys could do 45 pounds, if you want to use a dumbbell, you can, there's so many options. All right. So this one, put the back, your one leg on the back of the bar. I want that front knee to not go past the toes. I want your back upright. And then I want you to do perform eight to 10 reps on one leg, switch to the other leg. That is one set, guys. And you're going to perform that and you're gonna go right back into those sissy squats. So place that mat back on the bar and perform the second set. And then you're gonna perform the third set and then the fourth and then the fifth. We're gonna go five sets for all three of these supersets. You guys are going to hate me, <laughs> probably. Hate slash love me. Um, again, I, this is, you know how I am. I try to keep it, I kind of try to keep it simple for you. So it's not a whole lot overwhelming when you get into the gym. Um, going right into superset number two, we're going to start with hip thrusts. This is my absolute favorite hip thrust. If I want to isolate my glutes, this, I feel my glutes more in this exercise, as opposed to if I was doing it with a barbell on the floor. On the with the barbell on the floor, guys, you it's gonna be wonderful, right? But you are going to engage more accessory muscles. So whether you want to do that or not, it's totally up to you. This one, I feel truly that I'm engaging just my butt. That I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna make it kind of bigger from the side, uh, or like bigger from the back. So when you take a side selfie or a side photo, it gonna it's gonna pop out a little bit more. All right. That I personally love. I do feel like it's easier as well to place more weight on the Smith Machine barbell, the, the Smith Machine bar, as it is to put all that weight on the barbell on the floor. All right, you get me? All right, so we're going right into the second exercise of superset number two. So, so, so get off of the um, hip thrust, go right into plated lateral raises. Now this is really not really the Smith machine, but we're gonna work some outer thighs in this extra, this workout as well. So put the plate right at your knee, keep your knees slightly bent guys, and you, you're you not going to use a ton of momentum. You're just gonna lift that leg up and keep that weight up there. Your hand is basically there just to stabilize the plate on the outside of your knee. And if you guys aren't already fatigued at this point and your bottom, your lower half is not already shaking, we are going into superset number three, the single leg donkey kick. Now, I want to talk about the donkey kick on the Smith machine just a little bit. There is a specific technique that you guys need for this particular exercise. And there's also a specific kind of Smith machine that you do need as well. So I will say that this machine here, it does not automatically bring the hook back to one of the claws. I, I, I'm, I honestly don't even know what you call them. But this particular, I have to manually push it in and push it out, which is great because that's how you want it. I do also know of a gym that I work out at that the, it automatically comes back onto a hook if you are having that constant tension pushing it away. So you can't perform those, this donkey, um, 
this donkey kick on those types of Smith machines. So this is really just gonna be technique and it's just gonna be you trying it on your Smith machine at your gym or at home. Otherwise guys, there's a lot of other alternatives for the donkey kick, right? You could put a dumbbell in between right behind your knee. You can have a friend push a plate on your foot. Um, there's a lot of options. Um, you, if you're a part of my uh, bikini body challenge or my build a booty challenge, you guys know all of the various options. I think the donkey kick I think I have about nine to 11 um, variations of it because this one does not always work for everybody. Um, so anyways, that is the beginning of superset one. You are gonna perform the allotted reps of each leg and then you're gonna go right into the lateral shuffles with a band. Now I'm not using the spiral band in this one. I usually always use my spiral band, but this one you'll notice I have one of those thicker circular bands underneath my feet and they're staying right under my feet. I'm not bringing it up to my knees. The feet, that one, that one really, really burns those outer thighs, guys. To get even more of your legs involved and engaged, try to go down a little bit more into a squat. I promise you, 30 seconds, you guys are gonna die. I, it, it looks easy, but it is not. And you're gonna finish this superset with some in and out mini jump squats, all right? your legs are going to be on fire. I promise you. If they aren't, please comment below. If they are, please comment below. I'm excited to see what you guys think of this workout. If you guys aren't already following me on social media, go. The links are below, and I will see you in the next one.